Indonesia, Malaysia and Singapore, the three countries most affected by the recent haze, have agreed on how they will approach the problem moving forward. And Foreign Affairs Minister Keishan Mugam says there will be a good statement on this at the ASEAN ministerial meeting. Mr Shanmugam and his counterparts are in Brunei where they had an informal trilateral meeting to discuss the issue. It comes ahead of the informal working dinner for the visiting ministers. Speaking to the media at the end of their hour-long meeting, Indonesian Foreign Minister Martin Natalegawa said the meeting was aimed at taking the haze issue forward in terms of preventive measures and to mitigate the situation if it recurred. Giving an update on the haze in Sumatra, Dr Marty said it's becoming more positive. As of now, the affected area has been reduced to some 4,000 hectares from the previous high of 16,000 hectares, while the number of hotspots has fallen from a high of 265 to just seven as of yesterday. Through combination of uh, efforts on the ground and, and from the air in terms of seeding the clouds and water bombing and uh, propitious and friendly uh, weather, I guess, uh, things are becoming more uh, under control. But we must continue uh, these efforts and, uh, because this is a commitment by the Indonesian government uh, to ensure that we address this problem uh, in a comprehensive manner. There are angry and distressed Indonesians, angry and distressed Singaporeans and angry and distressed uh, Malaysians. And uh, that's why I kept emphasizing this is a common problem and we all have to try and do something to solve it. It is an ASEAN-wide issue that everyone needs to be involved, but here I said, let's meet informally. We know each other quite well. We all have a common interest and let's see whether we can come to some uh, solution even before the ASEAN ministerial meeting, rather than uh, taking up these issues at a main meeting without having tried to come to some solution.